In my room, a guest resides, whom I share the tales of each passing day. The guest listens, or I believe it listens at least. The twinkle in his tiny red eyes truly suggests so. This guest crawls along paint-coated pencils and has a strange affinity for the white light lamp that stands tall, despite its old age. In his company, I often contemplate the moral implications of enjoying its company while I proactively scan my room to starve him. In my room of paper and paint chips, a guest unlike others resides. He crawls, transparent wings perpetually bobbing on his, jit on his jittery ruby frame. What a fool, I often find myself thinking. Why does he waste his far too tiny crumb of life staying with me while I make an outright attempt to murder him. But, nonetheless, he doesn't seem to mind. In my room, a guest, far unlike others, resides. Sitting still, upon the crown of, white, of the white lamp he adored so earnestly, gazing blankly at the vermilion acrylics. Below, I cry from above his tiny, vibrant frame, calling him a fool repeatedly for staying and listening to one who didn't take the time to notice how much a fruit fly could mean to her. But nonetheless, he doesn't seem to mind. Woo!